Chest pain can be one of the most frightening symptoms that anyone experiences, and knowing the difference between angina and a heart attack could genuinely save yours or someone else's life. In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain what angina feels like, why it happens, how it's treated, and importantly, five symptoms that may mean chest pain could be a medical emergency. I'm Dr. O'Donovan, and as always, this video is for general education only. It's not personalized medical advice. Chest pain can be serious, so if you're worried about your symptoms, please speak to your own health professional or seek urgent care. So first of all, what is angina? Well, angina is a type of chest pain that happens when the heart isn't getting enough oxygen-rich blood. It's usually a sign of underlying coronary artery disease, where the arteries supplying the heart become narrowed. I want to emphasize up front that angina is a warning sign that your heart needs attention. It should never be ignored. So what does angina feel like? Well, people describe angina in different ways, but common symptoms can include a tightness, pressure, squeezing, or heaviness in the chest, pain or discomfort that can spread to the neck, the jaw, shoulders, arms, or even the back, and feeling breathless, sweaty, dizzy, or sick. Now, some people also describe it as a feeling similar to indigestion or burning, which is why it can occasionally be confused with heartburn. If you have any of these symptoms, make sure you speak to your own health provider. Now, angina symptoms are usually brought on by activity, stress, cold weather, or emotion. Now, typically they improve with rest or angina medication, usually within a few minutes, but there is no hard and fast set rule for this. Each case is different. Now, if these symptoms match your experience, please get checked, especially if the pain is new, getting worse, happening more often, or happening at rest. Now, the next part of this video is important, and that is when symptoms are not typical angina. So if you have chest discomfort that comes on at rest, lasts longer than 10 minutes, is severe or getting worse, or doesn't improve with rest or medication, this could be a heart attack and you need urgent medical help. And I'll cover five important warning signs of a possible heart attack at the end of the video, which you need to be aware of. So what causes angina? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the most common cause is coronary heart disease, where fatty deposits typically narrow the heart's arteries. Now, there are also other types, such as vasospastic angina and microvascular angina, where the heart's blood vessels tighten when they shouldn't, even if they aren't blocked. Now, you're more likely to develop angina if you're over 45, male, or over 55 and female, if you smoke, if you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol, if you've got diabetes, you live with overweight or obesity, you have a family history of heart disease, or if you've had previous heart problems. Now, life factors also play a role. Things like stress, lack of activity, and excess alcohol can also increase risk. So how is angina diagnosed? Well, if your doctor suspects angina, you may be referred for tests, such as an ECG, which checks the heart's electrical activity, blood tests, including cholesterol and sometimes a blood marker called troponin, and heart scans, such as an angiogram, a CT, or an MRI. These tests can help confirm the diagnosis and check the health of your heart and arteries. If you are diagnosed with angina, well, how is it treated? Well, treatment typically has two main goals. Firstly, to reduce symptoms. So you might be prescribed medications like glycerol trinitrate or GTN. This can come as a spray or tablets, and this is to relieve symptoms quickly, and beta blockers or other medications to prevent attacks. Secondly, you want to reduce the risk of heart attack or stroke. So this might include medications like low-dose aspirin, if recommended by your doctor, statins to lower cholesterol, blood pressure medications, and importantly, lifestyle changes, which I'll come on to next. Some people may also be advised to have procedures to improve blood flow like angioplasty or bypass surgery if it's severe. So now what can you do to help yourself? Well, some of the most effective steps you can do can be done at home. Firstly, stop smoking if you smoke, maintain a healthy weight, eat a heart-healthy diet, Stay active within your limits. Light exercise is usually encouraged, but speak to your team first. Keep alcohol within recommended limits. Try to manage stress where possible and avoid things that you know that trigger your symptoms like cold weather or large meals. And importantly, always carry your GTN medication if it's been prescribed. Finally, when should you seek help? Well, it's really important that you contact your doctor if you have 
chest pain that comes and goes, your angina is getting worse, happening more often or lasting longer, or you're unsure whether symptoms are actually angina or maybe something else. Try not to guess it yourself, speak to a healthcare provider. And it's really important to call emergency services immediately if chest pain doesn't improve with rest or GTN, pain lasts longer than 10 minutes, the pain spreads to your arm, your jaw, your neck, your back or stomach, you feel short of breath, sweaty, sick, faint or lightheaded, or symptoms start whilst resting. These may be signs of a heart attack and every minute counts. Don't drive yourself to the emergency department, call for an ambulance. Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments if you live with angina because these may help others too and why not check out this video next.